Looking for the best small form factor power supply unit for mini ITX builds? In this video, I did the research for you and picked the top SFX PSUs according to design, power delivery, efficiency, cooling and noise, and value for money. Price information and all SFX PSUs in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Cooler Master V750 SFX Best Budget SFX PSU for ITX Builds If you want a simple SFX PSU that's within a reasonable budget and offers enough strength to run almost anything, then the Cooler Master V750 SFX will have you covered. Looks-wise, the V750 looks a bit old-fashioned with a slightly rounded octagonal fan grille on the bottom of the unit and the logo on the side of the unit. The side is slightly pressed inward with the raised part containing the logo. It is an interesting design choice and overall plays well into the distinct Cooler Master design. The V750 SFX is a small unit that is 100mm long so it should easily fit in any ITX case, even those with less clearance. It is a gold rated PSU and Cooler Master claims that it should run at 90% efficiency. Looking at the efficiency curve, we see that the unit is going to be between 90-92% to 92 efficient most of the time if you're connected to a 230 volt power outlet. In regions where there is a 110 volt power outlet, the efficiency is a tad lower, which is between 88 to 90 percent. This is still fine, and there should be very little electricity wastage. The V750 SFX has a single 92 mm fan that does not spin until the system load reaches 15 percent, which helps especially if you're running light tasks and don't want any noise to disturb you. Cooler Master also affirms peace of mind as the PSU has OVP, OPP, SCP, OCP, UVP. OTP, surge, and inrush protection. This way, no matter what happens, the PSU has safety nets to prevent the components from getting fried. If we look at other PSUs, the V750 SFX can keep up with many full-sized ATX PSUs like the Be Quiet Dark Power 11 in terms of noise and power delivery. But if we look at other budget SFX PSUs, the Lian Li SP750 is a tough competitor that comes at about $10 cheaper than the V750 SFX. Its fans don't spin until 40% of the system load and is also an 80 plus gold rated PSU. The reason why I would always go with the Cooler Master V750 SFX over the Lian Li SP750 is the efficiency curve. The SP750 starts off great but its efficiency hovers at around 89-90%, to 90%, whereas the V750 SFX can stay above 90% almost all the time. In summary, the Cooler Master V750 SFX offers a budget-friendly solution for those in need of a reliable SFX PSU. Its compact design, efficient performance, and safety features make it a strong contender, especially when compared to similarly priced alternatives in the market. It has excellent power delivery and stays whisper quiet, even under heavy loads. Number 2. Asus ROG Loki Platinum – Best Premium SFX PSU for ITX Builds If you have a big budget and want a PSU that can handle pretty much everything in a small form factor, the Asus ROG Loki will fulfill every demand. It is a hefty 1000 watt PSU with support for ATX 3.0 standards and PCIe 5.0 which includes a 12 VHP WR connector. Taking a better look at the unit itself, Asus has done a fantastic job in making this PSU stand out. Most PSUs end up looking dull and are usually an afterthought aesthetically, so they are tucked away where no one can see them. Asus decided to properly brand the PSU from both sides with the ROG logo. The fan grille is perhaps the most unique design of any PSU with diagonal aluminum vents on top of an RGB fan. You can hook this fan to the motherboard to synchronize the lighting of your entire PC. It has a full-sized 120mm fan, which does not spin until the system load reaches 40%, which means that most PCs with this PSU can even play games without the PSU fan needing to work. The Asus ROG Logi is an SFX L PSU, so it will have the same height and width as any other SFX PSU, but is slightly longer. The length of a normal SFX PSU is about 100 mm, while the Asus ROG Logi is 125 mm long. You may need to check clearance as some cases may have issues fitting this PSU. You get all the safety features on this unit as expected. 
OPP, OVP, UVP, SCP, OCP, and OTP are all present to ensure safe operations at all times. When it comes to the competition, the Silverstone SX800 LTI is also a solid choice, but I would easily pick the ROG Loki over this any day. The only advantage the SX800 LTI has over ROG Loki is that it is a better efficiency rated PSU. Other than that, they are both similarly priced, and for that, the ROG Loki looks much better, has native ATX 3.0 support, and has 200 watts more power capacity. There is a serious lack of high-end SFX PSUs, but thankfully, all of them are very good choices in their own right. In conclusion, the Asus ROG Loki is a PSU that is ready for anything. It sits at a 1000 watts, 80 plus platinum unit that can handle even the most overly demanding components like an overclocked Intel Core i9-14900K and RTX 4090 if you can fit them in a tiny ITX case. Not only is it overpowered, it also looks good so you can show it off if your ITX case allows. Number 1. Corsair SF750 – Our Top Choice In the ever-evolving world of PC components, PSUs remain one of the most underrated components that don't seem to change that much and evolve into something new. This is fine because the PSU needs to impress purely on how functional it is rather than how fancy it can be. A particular SFX PSU that manages to stay relevant and improve as much as possible is the Corsair SF750, a 750-watt powerhouse with an 80-plus platinum rating. The Corsair SF750 earns its platinum rating as the efficiency curve is almost above or at 90%. This means that even under light loads, no electricity is being wasted by the unit. The Corsair SF750's fan kicks in at 300 watts and only ramps up a bit at 600 watts. This is highly impressive and means that even for gaming, this PSU is going to remain dead silent or barely audible. In the looks department, the SF750 is plain and simple. Its design can deceive you into thinking that it's ordinary, but that is far from the truth. While I don't think a PSU needs to look good or that there aren't many ways to make a PSU look good, I do believe that Corsair should improve on the SF series visuals. Be it the RM or AX series, they are all starting to look the same. They don't even have any colors other than black, white, or gray. I do forgive Corsair in the looks department because their PSUs have been top-notch. Corsair lists that the SF750 also has OVP, UVP, SCP, OTP, and OPP, which ensures that the PSU will protect the rest of the system in times of danger. Corsair has given every PSU manufacturer a serious beating with this unit. While others also have good units, the Corsair SF750 edges them out in every way. Only the Seasonic Focus SPX 2021 comes close as it is also a 750-watt unit with an 80-plus platinum rating. It's an incredible PSU, but the SF750 edges it out in two ways. One, the SF750 is significantly cheaper, and the fan on the SF750 kick in at 300 watts, while the SPX's fan spins at 30% load, which is about 225 watts. In summary, the Corsair SF750 emerges as the ultimate SFX PSU that strikes a balance in price and performance. It has everything you need in one tiny package and can run any PC, even with an RTX 4090.